Hey everybody, welcome back to Anthony's Horror and More, and today I want to show off my entire Universal Steelbook collection. I've got horror, I've got action, I've got sci-fi, I've got comedies, I've got all sorts of stuff here. Um, so please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, I'd appreciate it, and let's go ahead and get into this shit. Alright, first up, we've got An American Werewolf in London. One of the greatest werewolf films of all time. This and The Howling are two of my favorites. Got some nice spot gloss on there. Love the image. I got this at uh, Barnes & Noble a long time ago. Uh, this is the Blu-ray edition, not the 4K. But just such an awesome steelbook. Yep, one of my favorites. There's that. Next up, we got the thing prequel i just showed this off in a solo video not that long ago but it comes with it's a walmart exclusive it comes with a slip here you open it up Some, you know badass imagery i love it so cool i love the coloring on this that fire and ice look you got some disc artwork in there nice uh yeah some nice artwork on there uh, you know, decent movie, not the best, but if, you know, it, it, they use a lot of CGI in this and it just doesn't look that good. If they had gone all practical effects, you know, I probably would have liked it a lot more. But for 20 bucks, I say go ahead and get it. You know, it's got Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Pick it up, watch it, judge it for yourself. Um, definitely, I think it's worth a watch, though. Jaws. Yes. One of my favorite horror films right here. Love Jaws. Such a nice seal book. Nice 4K one. You can get this at uh, Target still. I know I've still seen it in Target. It's only like 20 bucks there. So I believe when I first got this, I got it from uh, Best Buy. But yeah, I love Jaws. Such a fun movie. I love it when they go you know, out on the sea and they're, you know, they're having that like male camaraderie and they're all messing with each other and telling stories. And it's just, it's such a great film, not just for the giant shark that's eating people and, you know, and all that stuff, but it's great too, because you just have these, uh, these characters that feel so grounded and down to earth and you can relate to them and it really helps to immerse you into the film. So love Jaws. So good. Next up, we got the Hitchcock. Hitchcock collection coming up here. We got a little Psycho. Love this steel book too, man. It's so cool. I love the knife. You know, with the house in the background there. You got the lady screaming and the knife and the blade of the knife. So cool. Yeah. Yep. And then we got the inside artwork right here. You got Anthony Perkins. You know, just such a great actor. This film, I actually prefer Psycho 2 to the original Psycho, just because you get more Anthony Perkins, and that's who I really want to see. But, of course, I love Psycho. It's a classic, one of the greatest horror films of all time. Um, no complaints there. And it's a great-looking 4K. Vertigo we got next. These, these next, this one and the next two I'm showing, I love that they got the silhouette of Hitchcock there. I just think that looks so cool. Nice orange steel book, which you don't get too many of. I've got one more here that's super orange, but um, but yeah, I just it's so so nice. Great looking steel book. Great movie. Definitely watch Vertigo if you haven't seen it. James Stewart, such a great actor. And then speaking of James Stewart, here he comes again. And these are nice colors, too. You got this, like, kind of copper, you know, type coloring going on here for the building, you know. You know, like a reddish, copperish, you know, type coloring. And it's just so nice, and it really does showcase the film perfectly. You know. Yeah. This would be my second favorite Hitchcock film after Psycho. So far, I haven't seen every Hitchcock film, but yeah, I really um, appreciated this movie quite a bit, especially the fact that it's all just in one location, basically, you know what I mean? He's just stuck in his apartment. He's just watching other people, you know, and, you know, because he's bound to this uh, wheelchair and he's just stuck, you know, 
basically prying in other people's lives, looking into their lives, you know, with his binoculars and stuff. And because he's just bored out of his mind. I mean, this was back in like the 60s or whatever. So, you know, obviously just didn't really have a ton to do back then, especially when you're wheelchair bound. So, you know, he's just trying to make the most out of it. And then we've got the birds. That's so cool. The birds flying there. And they just did such a great job with these steel books. And these are all a nice, like, matted finish. Um, you know, this one, a rear window, and um, a vertigo were all, like, a nice matted finish. The uh, Psycho one, though, was a uh, gloss finish. But, uh, yeah. Because the uh, there's another version of the Psycho steelbook that is like this, where it has the um, silhouette of Hitchcock there on the back. But I, I didn't get that one. I, I didn't know it existed at the time. So I went with the other one, which was uh, a Best Buy exclusive, I believe. But um, still great looking, you know. They're all, they're all really nice. You can't go wrong. But if you wanted to have all of them with that Hitchcock silhouette, just, uh, yeah, try to track down the uh, Psycho version. Because that, that, that one looks really cool, too. And then we've got Glass. So I love that like shattering glass effect and you can see all the different artwork and the pieces of glass as they're falling. Really nice. And I love this movie too. I, I know some people are a little iffy, you know, cause uh, it's about when you get to the third act and stuff, but I really like the way it ends. Um, uh, you know, I just, I think it's cool. I think Samuel L. Jackson just kills it as a uh, glass and, yeah, it was just overall a really just, you know, I, I love that it all takes place in like this mental hospital and they're all being evaluated and they're trying to make you think like, are they, are they just crazy or do they actually have gifts? And it puts that idea in your mind as you're watching it and you're, you're kind of not sure what to think anymore. But, uh, yeah. And this also has a nice matted finish. You know, the nice thing about the matted finish is that it doesn't show, you know, fingerprints or anything. So that's always cool. And we got Halloween 2018. One of my favorite Halloween films. Not my favorite. I love, you know, the original Halloween, Halloween 2, 3, 4, you know. But this is definitely up there. Um, you know, yeah, there's some... Uh, yeah, this movie at least has some, like, you know, kills, uh, you know, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends just has some dumb fucking characters in it, and you're just kind of, like, rooting for them to die, whereas, like, in this film, you know, I think, um, I think, uh, Lori is, you know, I, I liked her character in here, I thought she was good, I thought Hawkins was good, um, even Dr. Sartain I thought was an interesting character, because I was hoping they were gonna tie in the whole Cult of Thorn thing to it, but they didn't, but, um, I was hoping they would, but even he was uh, okay. We got some nice spot gloss here with the pumpkins. It's got a little bit of shine to it, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I just, I love the score of this film. John Carpenter and his son, you know, worked on it and just created such a badass score. I would say probably just as good as the original or right up there with it. I mean, it is an excellent score. And then we got Halloween Ends, which obviously, you know, most people aren't a big fan of. I thought it was good. I had fun with it when I saw it in theaters. I haven't watched it again since, but I just I just kind of took it as a, it's a, a terrible end to a trilogy. But I think if you just watch it as like a solo film, kind of like Season of the Witch, it's, um, it's better if you watch, view it as that type of thing, where it's just like its own independent, you know thing <laughs> you know what i mean like just like this weird kind of crossover type movie that um yeah i don't know uh, but yeah terrible end to a trilogy it makes no sense it doesn't answer the million of questions that we had you know and um but cool looking still book i'll give it to it and I, you know i'll definitely watch this again uh it's got nice debossing going on here too so i like that but uh yeah it's okay next up we got a war movie here with Inglorious Bastards, one of Quentin Tarantino's best films. Even though I like all of his films, can't go really, can't go wrong with any of them. But you got Eldo Rain there on the front. I love how he just takes his knife and carves in that swastika and those Nazis' heads. I'm gonna give you something you can't take off. You know, such a badass. Yeah, really sweet steelbook. Nice matted finish to it. 
inside we got the bear Jew just going around killing Nazis with his bat you know bludgeoning them to death <laughs> yep. great movie definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already next up we got Smoking Aces uh, this movie I always said would be um, a fun addition if they included this into like the John Wick world because it's just about a bunch of assassins that are going around there trying to kill Jeremy Piven's character um, they all get hired to kill him. So whoever kills Jeremy Piven's character first, uh, Buddy Israel is his name. Uh, you know, they get the money, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's just such a fun movie. Really kind of chaotic film. Uh, a lot of, uh, jarring editing and just, uh, just a lot going on in it, but I, I love it. You know, as you can see, it stars Common, you got Ryan Reynolds, you got, uh, Ray Liotta's in this film, um, Chris Pine, you know, it's just, it's a pretty stacked cast, uh, all things considered. And uh, I really like the steel book. I believe you can still find this on Best Buy's website. If you go on there, I think it's still on there. Um, yeah. All right, next up, we got some Fast and the Furious movies. We got the first one, 20th Anniversary Edition. Uh, I used to see this in Walmart all the time. I believe I picked it up in Best Buy. This is a glossy steel book, gloss finish. You know, so this will, you know, leave some fingerprints. But because of the coloring, all the colors and stuff on it, you don't really notice it as much. When it's all black and it's glossy, you'll see fingerprints all over them. I like that inside artwork. <laughs> this guy is so funny to me because he always used to bust Paul Walker's balls in the first film and the fifth film because they bring him back. But I always love, uh, I always really uh, love that character. This is funny. And all the movies with Paul Walker in, you know, I just, I, I, I think you need Paul Walker in these films. Is another reason why these newer ones just aren't working, because you know he was the heart, and without the heart, it's just, it just doesn't work anymore. You got Fast 6, which I think is a low-key, like, pretty underrated Fast and the Furious film. I, I, I do think this is when they really started to jump the shark. Um, you know, uh, Vin Diesel jumps off, you know, of a, you know, off of his car, you know, probably going 100 miles an hour, jumps out of his car, catches Letty in the air, lands on another car, and he's perfectly fine. Like, that's kind of when it started to turn into a joke. Plus, you have... Um, this scene right here with the tank which is also pretty unrealistic you know um you know this tank probably would have just crushed this car and you know uh, killed the guy in there but uh whatever you know i still think this movie is grounded enough to where you can still have a good time with it Paul Walker's great, Vin Diesel, the whole cast. It's it's still a really fun film. I think this was the last, like, really good one. Some people would say the seventh film because, you know, it's Paul Walker's send-off. I, I like the seventh movie, but I think this is way better. All right, and then we got <laughs> Fast 9, which, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say is a great movie. Um, it's okay. I think you can get the Steelbook for pretty cheap, actually, now. Um, I wanted to watch the movie. I didn't see it in theaters, so I went ahead and got the steel book just because I was like, oh, well, I want to I wanna check it out, so I'll go ahead and get it. Fuck it. <laughs> you know, I'll check it out. Um, and yeah, it wasn't that good. <laughs> I really wasn't a big fan of it at all, but uh, yeah, not, not, not very good. Not very good at all. They, they've just gotten so silly now. You know, they just go into space and doing all this crazy shit and you know they you know they get in fights and beat up and shot and all this stuff and they're not even bleeding it's like at least the first film like when that guy's getting his arm tore up on the semi truck you can see blood and stuff like people are getting hurt they're getting killed there's consequences to their actions and you know they just started to go away from that like i said they started to make them more superhero like it's really weird but how about a nice sci-fi film you got et and I got this steel book at um, Target. Nice one, nice uh, matted finish. And you got ET on the inside. There's so many ET steel books. It's crazy though. You got this one. You got the orange one. That's like the 4K edition. You got another one that's all silver. You know, I mean, there's just so many. But 
I'm happy with this, you know. I think Blu-ray is good, you know, for the amount of times I'm going to watch this movie. I really loved it. It's for, you know, great film from my childhood. I just don't go back and rewatch it too often, you know. It's but you know, obviously Steven Spielberg, you know, did a great job directing ET. Uh Of course, you know, check that one out if you haven't seen it. And then we got Back to the Future, Steven Spielberg presents. <laughs> um yeah. This is a great. I got this from Target years ago, and uh, I always really like this uh, steel book here. You know, it's got some. Is it, this is a glossy steel book, and obviously it's like like high gloss because it's got like this really nice shine to it with the fire underneath and everything. And yeah, you your three discs set here on the inside. And some disc artwork there. You got Doc Brown in the background. And, uh, yeah, this is the 30th anniversary edition. And Robert Zemeckis did an excellent job directing this film. Um, yeah, you know, once again, classic, you know, just like E.T., you know, just a great film. You know, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check out Back to the Future. You can't go wrong. You know, you got Michael J. Fox. Love Michael J. Fox. Great actor. We got Casper, 20th, 25th anniversary edition. Got this from Best Buy. And a lot of these, like I said, I got from Target, Best Buy, Amazon, um, you know, places, Walmart, places like that. I, I'm starting to get more into the boutique, like, steel books and stuff like that now, but a lot of these just were pretty easy to get, at least back then. I think some of them will be harder now to find, but, uh, like, the Hitchcock ones might be a little harder to track down. That uh, 30th anniversary edition of Back to the Future might be tricky to track down but now they've got a beautiful 4k set so you can get that um but yeah i really like this one this is a glossy finish so this this one is a perfect example uh, <laughs> you know this glossy all black steelbook is gonna leave fingerprints all over the place but um still a really nice release and this is just a blu-ray and dvd but it was only like 20 bucks i think when i bought it so you know that's solid once again, for the amount of times that I'm going to watch it, it's just another classic film from my childhood that you know, I really enjoyed watching, and um, it's great to have it in the collection. And we got The Breakfast Club. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, man. I always really appreciated this steel book. I got this from Target. Um, you got some nice um, embossing here. You can feel that. Um and then you got some like debossing on um, this this is like pushed in here so you can feel around the edges but then this is debossed so it's like coming out or i'm sorry this is embossed it's, so it's coming out at you this going around here this like square you know rectangle here is debossed um so yeah it's really nice i love it when they do the debossing and embossing and all that stuff uh, this is just a flat finish here, though. This isn't, this isn't uh, embossed. But, yeah. It's cool how they did the whole locker look. Even this has a little bit of shine, the hinges and the lock and stuff. And it's just a Blu-ray. But, um, yeah, great movie. John Hughes. Probably my favorite John Hughes film, but he's got man, he's got so many good ones. But yeah, I think this is the one I, I'm I go back and rewatch the most. So, yep. All right, and we got National Lampoon's Animal House. Excellent comedy film. Nice matted steel book here. Um, so funny. One of those classic comedy films that paved the way for movies like. You know the American Pie franchise and stuff like that so definitely a really nice addition this is a 4k with a blu-ray as well yeah yep if you can find this still definitely add it to your collection I just love I just love the look of it I mean, you got the whole cast out here you got the house National Lampoon's Animal House I mean you just got it all you got the statue in the back I mean it's 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 pretty perfect so, yeah, pick this one up if you haven't already. And that's it, guys. That's my whole Steelbook collect, my whole Universal Steelbook collection there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite Steelbook that I showed there. And let me know if you guys have any cool Universal Steelbooks uh, in your collection. 
But this is Anthony's Horror More, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.